they go to their friend's house and discuss their cases. Now no longer, they come to the library, look on the YouTube of professor lecture, share view of the slide share of the professor and then discuss within the group in the library. That is where they socializing together. So it's a new way of new generation of students, the way they behave. Or beside the uh, video that I mentioned to you, you can also go to TeacherTube, similar to YouTube, but teacher will collect all their um, uh, lecture, or you can go to YouTube, EDU. Many of the universities, like University of Stanford or MIT, have a very good collection of outstanding professor through these websites. You feel free to download because they're shared to you on a uh, platform of open education resources. So this is another idea. Or you can go to eCademy if you'd like to know how Facebook can be used as a, a good education tool. Go there and it tells you how good examples will be or best practice will be. So all of these ideas of how we can make use of social network. Another interesting concept that coming out through the social network is that what I've been showing you is a text base or a video platform or a graphic platform. But this is a very new one. It is a voice platform that people share information through voice. It's called VoiceThread. Now let's see if I can get this to work online. So it's a picture. People download their picture. And as you can see, uh, people on the side, if you click at the person, you'll hear the people comment on the same picture. Let me try that. Wrong picture, all right. Okay, uh, I'm uh, Pat Muth, and I'm the happy mother here in this picture of these children, some of whom appear to have anxiety disorders. Uh, let's see. I don't know why they look unhappy because I'm their mother, and they should be happy. So that's an example of the mother reacting to this picture. Now let's hear about their kids, what the kids reflect to this picture. And I'm the happy. I think I'm so unhappy because I, what could have just happened is that Chris must have teased me really badly. He's the one smiling very happily. So that's Paula, one of the sisters. Scolded me. Yeah. That's why, I, why I'm sad. And Kathy looks like she's about to kill someone, but we all know that now that she just had very bad eyesight and didn't have glasses yet. Okay, so now hear about uh, what this little boy has to say. Now, of course, he's now grown up. Well, this is the photo that launched a thousand ships. This is the photo that uh, was the inspiration behind VoiceThread. And uh, it's apropos, because this may be the greatest photo ever taken. It just, it's priceless. So that's how people can share the sound through VoiceThread. That was so skinny. Look at those arms. Okay, I can go on. Let's pack, stop for the time being we'll come back to how we can make use of this voice thread social network for educational purpose. As you can see, this is how people can react to just one simple picture that you can upload. There's a, this is uh, one of the teacher, kindergarten teacher, used for ed as educational tool. She has one of the kids draw a dragon and then have people comment on how the dragon look as a uh, reinforcement for the children. You can comment by sounds, you can comment by type. So as you can see, you have people all around comment on just one picture, share the ideas, socializing. Or one of the professor in the university also used as a, re a way of asking the student to discuss on common issues in the topic that she would like to bring their interest. So all of those that I mentioned to you, 
how we can make use of these socializing network and e-learning to sustain quality of human resource development, especially in Asia and in Europe that we're trying to do here uh, through the conference of ASEM. So in order to do that, I think the key issue of how we can sustain quality human resource development within the, our country is through the important use of pedagogy. The key is pedagogy. The quality of use is how you make the best use of it. And as you know, that the basic use of e-learning has a lot to do with LMS or learning management system. But now if you want to use social network, it's time to move beyond LMS and the OECD report of 2005 confirmed with me on this that LMS should move beyond that. No more uh, just management. You need to incorporate interaction among the students through the topic that benefit the group and you can engage them with the information that are relevant to them and encourage their higher order thinking skills and also you have to facilitate the interest of all the conversation that you try to initiate through those platforms, Facebook or Twitter. And of course, real life, relevant topic will be the one who bring their attention most. So these are the key pedagogy among many of the pedagogy that will be the success uh, key to make the social network uh, successful or usable. And of course, you also have to encourage the 21st century skills that many of these skills it's require in the workforce today. And let me share with you a little bit about the 21st century skills. There are three sets of skills. I'm not gonna go through details. I'm just gonna capture it within chunk. The first chunk is the technical skill, more of a literacy skill that children or learner has to use ICT as a communicative tool. The second chunk is more of analytical skills where the 21st century skills deals with problem solving, deals with uh, how you inquire information. This is the set where you need a lot of thinking. And then the third skill is a social skills. This is very important because it used a lot in terms of social network through, collaborate, through collaborative learning on the online and how do they collaborate they have to keep in mind that when they collaborate they have to be willing to compromise in order to accomplish a common goal so this is very important because when you train your students or your learner to go out and work how do they function in the office with their colleagues with the uh, diversities of environment it is very important that these skills are enhanced and keep in mind, if you want to use social network uh, to your class, to your learners, keep in mind that these are the platform where users are the one who generate the content. Notice, as you can see, they tweet, they write the information. We're not the one who give them, but we are the one who facilitate them. The one that write, the students that write or uh, talk to each other, they are accountable for what they write. Some of them share the link very inf information, useful information, or some of them uh, create their own interests. They go and search their own interests and they create their own uh, content. That is also the digital learning style. There are network students that they link to each other, they ask each other on an area of the common interest. Oftentimes they don't ask us anymore, but it's our role to facilitate them. And they're very much interested in share their common interests and collaborate with each other. So keep in mind these are digital learners that you have to encounter uh, in your universities, in your work, in your environment. So universities have to be equipped, have to be ready for all these changes because you have to ask yourself these questions is that are you willing to stay awake to change because of this social phenomenon that comes close to you knocking at your door now or you would like to be forever left behind? Keep in mind that you need to change, you need to pick the change and turn into the opportunity. I leave the answer up to you because no matter how you use it to benefit 
your teaching learning or lifelong learning, I think it all depends on the beholder of the tool. Thank you very much. <clears throat> And I have my email there, and I will also put my PowerPoint on slide shares, which you can download, and lots of reference if you would like to see later on. Okay, thank you very much. Any questions from the floor? Anyone would like to ask Dr. Tinsuri questions? Anyone? No, then please join me again to thank Dr. Tinsley Sripo for her excellent talk.